when you start, of course, the battery first, and the boost, boost pump, you know, the main is 20 seconds. Okay, then you, this is start uh, switch, you go to on. After 20 seconds, you go to on? Yeah, actually, you know, you can be a little bit less. Okay. Yeah, you don't put so much fuel, just in case it has stuff. Okay. And you put it on, so the outside is engine up here. So you go to 2000, actually, you know, sometimes, you know, yeah, when the battery is strong, you can go, you know, 1500, and then you pull out. <coughs> you see that mm -hmm. that's a that's a detainer. You pull out, not detain. I mean, it's a it's a stop. You right. pull out and go to ignition, and then you watch the temperature. This is T4 temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay, when it st start rising, of course you're gonna see the injection lights will come on first, and also this the starting light will come on. Mm -hmm. Then the temperature will go when close to the 400 degree rise. And then you, you let it, you let it go, come back to all. Okay, then make sure that the temperature, you know, will, will keep going. Maybe go to four, maximum probably five, five something on this engine. Okay. And if they go to this <clears throat> over 700, then you gotta shut down, pull it out, shut, stop, and go to run again. That means you know you shut the, the fuel cock off, but still just just get motor the engine air. to get air going. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, once it you know go over 400, you let it go and stabilize, and it will come back. The T4 will come back probably 425, so mm -hmm. depending on outside temperatures. Mm -hmm. And done. That's it. Okay. Then you engage. When do you engage the? Uh... Okay, you engage the rotor. <clears throat> you slow the you know advanced throttle. Then you will see the outside uh, uh, the RPM going. This engine, um, this clutch will go to 30,000, usually about 29, might like minus 29, you know, it's brand new. This one, this is military, so I think they go to 30,000. Mm -hmm. You see the rotor start turning. And the <clears throat> I use it myself. The, the book say, you know, we go to 18% on torque. Okay, you know, it just advances the throttle. Same time you time it, and the rotor start turning. So they will start to synchronize mm -hmm. uh, right about uh, uh, 30, probably 33,000 RPM. Mm -hmm. Synchronize within 30 seconds to 40 seconds. I see. Okay. Okay. So once this, once synchronized, that the temperature would drop probably you know to 375, when, when, and the um, uh, everything is stabilized. You know the temperature would, you know be below 400. And then you can continue, you know, slowly advance the throttle all the way to uh, top the green. Actually, it's not top; it's just on the green. Does this lock in place? Yeah, they will lock in place. They have a micro switch inside. Mm -hmm. You go in lock. Mm -hmm. You should push on the on the left, okay. and then warning lights should go off. Okay. So then, then you will have um, uh, fuel control takeover. So your RPM will always on the green. I see. Yeah, and that's it. There's nothing else to do. Well, um, the boost pump you said you leave, yeah, leave on, leave on all the yeah, time. This one leave on. Like in my, I, I don't turn on until 6,000 pressure altitudes. Is this a different engine than yours? Yeah, a little bit different. Bigger or smaller? Uh, it's a few the same. I don't know. It's uh, really bigger. Uh -huh. yeah. But I think the T4 they coated with uh, with uh, ceramic, so we can pull more temperatures. Uh, I see. Yeah. And what is uh, is this hydraulics? This is hydraulic. Yeah, you can shut it off from hydraulic. And, is that uh, is that pedals collective and cyclic? Everything. Everything. It's, yeah, it's going to be really really hard. Sure. Right. Yeah. Now now what you said before was that were you playing with the SAS or was that the SAS? There's a stick, <clears throat> you know. Make they say the feeding, but it's not feeding. You know, first you engage that. You know, once you have alternator on, you engage that, mm -hmm. and you kick on the stick feeding. Mm -hmm. So the magnetic will hold it the position. Okay. Hold it three, yo. And the cyclic as well. Okay. So you have a pedal, everything to hold it in position. So normally, do you have to touch this if you're just doing a regular flight? Do you do you have to engage no, you that? Have to, you don't yeah. touch it. Yeah. Well, you so want to do a lot, a lot of maneuver. You you don't want to engage it. Right. You know, it's hard for you to. Right. You know, to go over overcome the center point. And then these are all. This is all. This doesn't use anything here. Okay. Okay. So this is for, for military. But this is all the uh, SAS system, you know, you, you always keep it on. I see. Always keep it on. That's it, yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Roger, Dodger.